All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, so here we are in the QVO gym. And the QVO gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month we come out with new exercises for you to practice and complete and we break it down for you into four different sections. Today we're gonna to be working in the February year one warm-ups section. At the top here is an animated video to give you a synopsis of what's going on in Craig's world that month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz to test your knowledge. Below that are all of the exercises within this section. And at the bottom here is an optional area where after you have completed all of the exercises within this section, we have some sample posts that you can use on LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's go ahead and dive right into our exercise today where we're going to practice processing the money that came in this month, specifically a sales receipt for Haley Walker. So go ahead and click on that link to pull up the exercise. I have it over here on the right hand side. So let's see what our scenario will be for today. Haley Walker came into Craig's shop and purchased a rock fountain with cash. Create a sales receipt to account for the sale. Haley is a new customer, so you'll need to add her as well. To do this exercise, you need to be in the sample company. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the uh, left-hand side of my screen. This is the dashboard. So let's get started with the exercise and create that sales receipt. We're gonna click on the plus new button and then we're going to select sales receipt. The plus new button is up here on the top left corner of the screen. Click on the plus new button and then under customers, select sales receipt. Now remember from the scenario, we need to add Haley Walker as a new customer. So to do that in the customer field, we're going to type her name and then click on plus add new Haley Walker. So in the customer field right here, click into it and start typing in Haley Walker. You will see it says plus add new Haley Walker. Go ahead and click on that and you will see this customer profile appear. Now, Craig did not collect any information about Haley other than her name during the sales uh, time of the sale. So we don't have anything else to fill out in this customer card, but um, in a real life scenario, if you do have a customer, um, whether you're sending them an invoice or whatever, try to find as much information as possible so that you can fill that out here. But for a simple transaction, this sales receipt, there's nothing else other than her name. So let's go ahead and click on the green save button down here. And now you can see that her name has been added as a customer. Now remember in the scenario, she paid with cash. So in the payment method field, we want to select cash. That is right here. Go ahead and click on that down arrow and then select cash. Um, one note here, this sales receipt seat date is going to default as today's date. In a real life scenario, you would want to change this to whatever date of the sale, what, uh, the date of the transaction, the actual date of the sale. Yeah. <laughs> um, so just know that you can leave this as is for today, but you would want to pay attention to that in a real life scenario. Now this deposit to field, it says undeposited funds, and that is because undeposited funds is a holding account until Craig actually deposits the money into the bank later. Um, you don't want to put this into checking um, because it's not really showing what is actually happening. Anytime you have cash or checks, you always want to have it depositing to undeposited funds until it physically makes its way to the bank. So let's finish filling out the sales receipt. In the product service field, we're going to select Rock Fountain. So click into that two times. Um, you can either start typing it in here or you can click that down arrow and see the fourth one down is Rock Fountain. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. You will see the rest of the information populate over here on this line, which is great. This is what it needs to be. 
And now we just need to simply save and close this um, because we are not going to be sending a copy of the sales receipt to Haley. So we're not see it, sending it, just save and close. So click the down arrow next to save and send and then select save and close. That is down here on the uh, bottom right corner of the sample company. Click that down arrow and then select save and close. And now that sales receipt has been saved and that is how you would create the sales receipts. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in the warm up section where we continue practicing processing the money that came in, specifically a PayPal sale. And I will see you in the next video.